Let's see if my cunning plan has worked. I have announced this 10 minutes ago. People are probably away watching football, eating their dinner or doing something more interesting. So nobody is going to be asking me silly questions like what mouth the lung tank I would recommend or, or do I think that, uh, what's my favorite e-liquid? Yes. Anyway, uh, good evening all those people that have uh, Hi mum, dad, and the other two people in chat, um, and uh, <laughs> we'll just, let's, let's get this out the way, let's get this done. Um, I must be the only YouTuber that hates doing lives. Um, really there's lots of people, well, there's more people than my mum and dad in here. Uh, Apex Predator, seriously, what a name. What a name for a YouTube channel. <laughs> what am I going to call myself? Apex Predator. That'll put everybody at ease. <laughs> Mr. McKenzie, how the hell? How the hell? Um, and, um, oh, there's lots of people. What's my favourite drip tip? Do I have a favourite drip tip? Actually, I suppose the drip tip that I've used the most in the past few months would be the the armor, the the the, the 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 hybrid one, hybrid jobby. There's a proper name for it, but the armor mods one. That's the one I probably used the most in the past few months. But uh, I would say that the Turnwood FX, Turnwood FX, um, this one. I'm really liking these just now. And Scott made it. Scott. All hail the OG. Um, so, um, I answered a question. There we go. Uh, what size is the Arcana 22? Paul is on forum. Sarcasm at its finest. This is what we need. This is what we need. Uh, the dwarf tip. Uh, I mean, the dwarf is, I mean, goes without saying. I mean, the DL drip tip. The, the stainless steel DL drip tip, which I was given by young Dominic Pelosi. Yeah, that's a belter as well. That's a belter as well. Uh, so thank you, Dane. Well pointed out there. Well pointed out. Adrian's here as well. Adrian, shall we dance? Shall we dance? <laughs> it always goes well when he, it's always better when Adrian's here. He keeps me right, he keeps me grounded. Uh, righty ho, let's go on with this. Um, I had a cunning plan. I was going to talk about things, vape related things. Um, there's the late night vape show. Hello, I'm Peter Edwards as well. <gasps> Have you been thrown out the house, mate? Or are you. You're still in Liverpool and you've got nothing else to do, so you thought you would watch this instead. I understand. Um, anyway, if I don't see your question in chat, save it up and you can take the piss in a little bit. Uh, what's going to happen here? Right. Uh, vape mail coming tomorrow. 
I'm rather excited about this. I'm rather excited. Let me make this uh, full screenish because it deserves to be full screenish. Uh, there we go. I'll get this. Dun dun dun. My build tab is on the way. It's on the way. D D D D D D D D H L have it. It is somewhere between here and Bosnia, and uh, yes, it's my my little precious. My little precious is going to be here. Um, this is something that I had um, I had commissioned. Um, this is something that uh, not a free shit. I know I get lots of free shit. This isn't free shit. This was something getting made by Alden from Alden Mods. It's a DNA seventy five C. Takes a twenty one seven hundred battery, and it's a build tab. Uh, I know how much you all love. Uh, my, uh, I need to open windows here. That's the wrong window. That's the right window. I know how much you love my little BP mods one, but it, 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 yes, it's, it's, it's earned its keep. It's done well, but after ten years, I thought I deserved something a little bit posher, a little bit posher. So, so. That's what Alden has made for me. Um, yeah, so that that's I'll I'll probably show that off. Oh, you'll see it in the the upcoming reviews. You'll see it in the upcoming reviews. But it's um, a bit of walnut. The inlays are stab wood, and then he's just drowned it in CA uh, or or super glue, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that uh, when I uh, build, because I get juice over everything, including myself, uh, it'll wipe off nice and easily. So there we go. Uh, that's what's coming. Um, now we're uh, we're going to talk about PC coils. Now, not many people know this. Did you know that the guy that's behind PC calls, coils is called Peter Corvus? PC. I never knew that. And it amazes me every time I see it. Hi, Peter. <laughs> and Sean. Eunice is here. Uh, Hatman, Dion. Uh, somebody's online. I wish I could pronounce that. Uh, Matthew, did I say hello? Can't remember. Um, and <laughs> Mohammed is here. Who I have not banned or or muted, so uh, that's good. Uh, right, let's let's get into it. I'm afraid this is all going to be borrow related. I don't have any RDAs. I don't have actually. No, tell a lie. We'll start off with the one thing I have that isn't borrow related. <laughs> And this is just for Tony Hunt. This whole segment is just for Tony Hunt. Because um, he's special. He's very special as our Tony. And we need to explain things in fine detail for him. Right. Uh, you may or may have not seen uh, a review. Uh, yes, I do reviews from time to time. And I did do a review for this. This was the Arcana 22, which is 22 millimeters in diameter. Not many people know this. Uh, and it's on my uh, Tippy Mods. Tippy Mods, um, who has a, oh my God, face. Uh, I always forget the name of it. The Pixis. And I forget what that means. I, I wish that, yeah. Anyway. I was going to start making uh, jokes about Irish people, but I thought better not. Uh, so anyway, this is about this. Now, I did um, the video. And the day after I uploaded the video or, or made the video live, pins arrived. Because the pins that I had for it were 0 0.81, 1 1.2, 1 1.4. That's what comes with it. They are also selling what they call RDL and DL pins. And I've completely forgotten what sizes they are. <laughs> you... 
what I can tell you, what I can tell you is that the, you get two packs, an RDL pack and a DL pack. Now, the thing to, I, I want to point out is that the DL pack, when it says DL, the, the largest air pin that you can get is 2.6. A lot of this is going to be subjective. Um, it, it's going to be, we, we will all have different viewpoints, standpoints and different opinions and, and so on and so forth in this kind of thing. Uh, some people consider direct lung to be three and a half mil and bigger. Um, it, it, you know, it's all going to... So anyway, the short and sweet version is the largest air pin you can get for the Arcana 22 is 2.6 and that's what I've been vaping with all day is um, this <laughs> you and me both Paul trust me you and me both um, there's Dennis Dennis is saying anything up to 3.5 is restricted direct lung that's that's yeah no hang on anything up to 3.5 is restricted direct lung. Oh, I'm with you now. Sorry, I get you. I get you. Um, Mike Davis, sorry, your opinion doesn't count because you're probably sitting in the toilet while she watched this video, so I'm not listening to you. Legion Vapes, how you doing? Um, Mr. McCoy, thank you very much. A kind of review was thumbs up. Uh, John, I'm not telling you how much it weighs. Um, but we are right and you're wrong. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's all you have to know. Right, here we go. 2.6. I uh, have in here just now... Actually, I'll show you. I'll show you what could go wrong. It's not like the whole thing could fall to bits and uh, suddenly start leaking. So, well... And you may all... You may not notice here, but, 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 but... During uh, a live stream with my patrons, we actually found out that... I could change the color balance in my up close when I'm doing lives. So now it looks it doesn't it looks better than it did before. So I should be able to do this. Oh no, not that. That. There we go. Oh I've got a bit too much cotton. Have I got too much? Oh no, I've got plenty of cotton there. Right, so there we are. There's uh it's a two point it's a PC coils. A PC coils, two point five ID, benchmark V2 which is a 0 0.36 ohm. And uh, that's what I've been vaping with all day. Uh, now, I did have concerns. I was curious. I didn't know if it was going to wick that well because of those holes there. Uh, get you back on here. There we go. Boom. Right. Let's go for our vapies. Uh, breeze tones. Hello. Uh, it does look more whiter now. It does look whiter now, doesn't it? It does. So... Uh, just full control is open. I am vaping at 25 watts, which is where I normally am, between 25 and 30 for this coil. It's, um, how is the smoothness with the RDL? Right, we're going to, I, I hope Patrick isn't, Patrick, if you're watching this, I apologise for what I'm about to say. For me, all the pins in the RDL pack and the DL pack are what I would call RDL. Okay? Um, for me, the 2.6 is a really loose RDL. Um, it is, if you ever came across an Atty that was called the Har, fully open, the Har is... Well, this is just a tiny, tiny little bit looser than that. So that gives you a rough idea if you ever used the har. <laughs> Don't ask me if it's anything like your favourite Atty with a certain pin, because I can't remember. Um, but smoothness. Very. The only thing I will say is that I think because the chamber is quite condensed um, and the bore on the, the chimney is quite tight or small, um, 
I've got the coil down as far as it'll go and it is just a, I'm getting a tiny tiny little bit of a, a more of a throat hit than I would normally get or I'd be used to it's not bad but it, in any respect it's still giving me superb flavour uh, superb flavour uh, plenty of vapour and this is still one that I would choose to keep uh, I would choose to keep this because of the vape I'm getting from it there you go that's that's everything I've got for the Arcana uh, 22 uh, <laughs> You raise a, a good point there, Mr. Edwards. How does it compare with your favourite Atty with a certain pin? Well, obviously, I, I don't know. And yes, there's no broccoli either. That's... Uh, so many gravity-fed devices right now, it seems. I, I actually, well, obviously... Yes, I quite like gravity-fed devices, <laughs> but there, as as you, most of you know, with gravity-fed devices, you've got you've got an, a narrow window, you know, when that cotton starts to just collapse, um, then it can all go very wrong. Uh, so you have to keep your eye on it a little bit more. But um, it's just one of those things. Just one of those things. So that's that. That's it for the Arcana 22, um, and I think it's very, very pretty. It's very pretty, and and is it better than the Chariot RTA? In my opinion, yes, it is. From a vape quality perspective, um, I don't know. I really don't know. They're both excellent. Uh, from an, an engineering, the way it's assembled, the way it wicks, uh, the way it's uh, easy to put a coil in, and all the everything else, um, it's I think it's a better RTE in that respect. I really do. Um, well, happy Thanksgiving to everybody in America. That's a very good point, Fiona. Well raised, uh, Mister McCoy. Tis a cloudy beast. What's the lifespan of the coil wick in the Arcana? That is an unanswerable question. Uh, because it depends on the coil, it depends on how, what wattage, how you wicked it, and many other variables. Uh, so that's, that's the, um, Adrian, I uh, see, this is why I love Adrian. This is why I love Adrian. Everybody needs an Adrian in their life. Let's do it, shall we, Adrian? Let's remove... Let's remove the AFC. So obviously that's opening up a th three other holes. You see, you're a clever lad. You, you need to come back more often. Uh, that's more like a DL now. That's really is hopping into the tight DL now. Um, I've got. I must have a little bit. I can hear juice bouncing about in there. That I must have got some juice on the air hole. Um, smoking steam. Uh, yes, I, I use that. Oh, it's getting cloudy. I used a little, uh, a little less cotton. Um, I think I might have used a little, too little cotton. Uh, I think it's over wicking. Um, right. Now, Adrian, what they need now, what they need now is to release an airflow ring with three holes. As in, or three slots rather than the the two that it's got. If they released a DL or an RDL, AFC, that would be great. And I think we should call it the Adrian Ring. 
isn't that what we call a Lubinsky? Um, as an Alex Lubinsky, we don't talk about him. He's a weirdo. He made a really bad RDA. <laughs> just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Um, I'm wondering if I've got any other AFCs that would fit it. Anyway, that's for another. That's for another day. I'll I'll may, I'll uh, suggest that to Patrick, and I shall let them know that Adrian uh, was uh, need to release a bigger chimney as well. Yeah, you're not wrong. Um, that the only thing is the chimneys. It's, it's an all-in-one job, so machining-wise, it's a uh, bit. Um, hang on, I'm off on a, we're, we're off on a tangent. This was not in the script. This is, where's, um, where's all my bits for the har? I had a drawer with, with, with lots of bits for a har. I don't know where it's going. Excuse me a second. Nah, it's totally different. It's too big. Too big. Uh, anyway, let, let's let's move on. Um, right, we're into Borrowland again, and now I'm covered in juice. Ah, an AFC with broccoli. That makes everything better. Adrian's ring. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's a great name for it. We shall call it Adrian's ring. Uh, it seems to be a mouth to lung. No, no, I, I would disagree with it. I'd say it's it's mouth to lung, restricted direct lung. Uh, the chimney bore leans more towards a mouth to lung type bore. I agree with you if that's what you meant. Uh, but it will do restricted direct lung very, very well. Uh, it does do it very well. Um, and anyway, I would never disagree with you, Paul. Right, let's 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 chug along here. Uh, right, we've got to get into Borrowland. Um, okay, where to start off here? I have to. Uh, uh, just Josh. Uh, what's up with the Cthulhu Delrin ohms all over the shop, even with included drip tip? Have you uh, taken the panel off and tightened up the screws to make sure the screws are all tight? Don't over tighten them. Uh, just nip them up, make sure they're all semi tight. Uh, the integrated drip tip, uh, I would. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, I would start with the screws if I was you. Um, right, I need to now. Uh, the wonderful Alex at uh, Cheeky Vape. I almost said the full name there. I also th see we're not allowed to do that anymore. I can't even show you the site because apparently we get hammered for that as well. But um, this arrived. I can't even show it to you because it's. Um, it's in my it's, it's in my mod. I should have thought this through, but um, it's called the Billy Billy Goat Borrow Bridge. Uh, it's a collaboration by Billy Billy and Voodoo 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 Doll. It's made in Italy. Uh, it comes with a uh, pin seven airflow pins. Comes with all the airflow pins. Uh, I'll let you know the size is off the uh, one starts at 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and 4 mil. And that is what I'm vaping inside my stubby just now. Um, can I find you an image? I, I can sh I can show you an image. Surely I can show you an image. Um, images. Open image in new tab. No, that's 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 not big enough. Um, uh, 
trying to find an image where I won't get locked up. Uh, I can't show you those images because they're from another shop and that would be wrong of me to show you those images. This isn't going well. I can show you that one. I'll get away with that one. Yeah, here we go. We'll show you this one. Uh, boom. Right, uh, you can see there, uh, It's the, the deck is very much... Uh, well, to be fair, you've seen it a lot before. Um, just a two-post affair, but it's uh, the the wicking is from underneath. Uh, you get all the pins, you get the chimney, you get the a little top cap which comes with fins, uh, which is we like fins. Fins are always good, and you get all the pins with it as well. Um, now, I, I I did unbox this for my for my patrons yesterday and uh, I've been using it most of the past couple of days uh, and I was I wouldn't say I was dismissive as such when I, I unboxed it uh, but I'm going to say it's very good is it it's it's just as good as um It's just as good as any other RBA I've got here. And I'm looking at things like the, the Killick, the Air V2, the Mob V2, the, the Cloud, blah, blah, blah. All those RBAs, uh, it, it's, it's most definitely not shit. Uh, the flavour is, it's just a really good atty. Um, it, it's, this, I'll do a review. I mean, the screws are a little bit in the small side, but th there's nothing that's upset me about it. But um, we're, we're kind of into that. And I know I talk about this a lot. Um, there's, there's, lo <laughs> there's lots of um, RBAs out there that are, very very similar um, and all give off very very good vapes uh, or good yeah and this is one of them but you can go out and you can buy it and you don't have to join a list you can get in a shop that's a positive in itself and um, so uh, that was once again that was Alex at Cheeky Vape sent that on and there shall be a review coming before very long I'm going to finish off with the Delro I'll finish off with the Delro um, uh, Mohammed, um, even Grim liked a lot. Good out, Lee. How you doing? Uh, Gareth Lynn. That name rings a bell. I used to know a guy called Gareth, he was a bit gobby, but he was a nice bloke. I wonder if you're related. Um, so, uh, the Chucky, Jason, the, I mean, I saw the Chucky. I always thought the Chucky was, and hopefully this doesn't offend anybody, I thought it was a, a, a vape snail kind of deal. Or at least I always thought it looked like a vape snail, just with a, a logo slapped in the front. Uh, but anyway, that's by the by. Uh, Misha, still watching our live session of seven years of vape to see your channel. Thanks and keep going. I'll keep going as long as you keep watching, my friend. Uh, once again, I'll do the Delro last, uh, but we'll, I'll show you this because it did arrive and it would be rude of me not to show it. Uh, I know, I think there's a, uh, I know um, Tony did his own video for it already, uh, but the, the, the name's gone right out of my head. The Van de Vee Pulse Mini AIO. Obviously it's uh, an 18650 now and uh, and they sent me a green one. <laughs> why, why, why did you send me a green one? Why didn't you send me the black one? Um, right. Uh, to be, uh, and I'm not being dismissive. I'm not uh, being a dick when I say anything here. 
It's basically the 21700 version and they've shrunk it down and it's now an 18650. Uh, one of the, the I'm, was I going to say big improvements? Um, one of the big things is also that the pulse that comes with it now, uh, I'm pretty sure you can take the pulse out and put it in other borrow tanks as well. And it doesn't fall to bits. <laughs> I had the pul I had two pulse AIOs, the the twenty one seven hundreds before, and the pulse RBA that came with it. The tank was was pretty grim, to be fair. Uh, it, it just yeah, it just felt a bit. But this is slightly different. Uh, I will say to be, and once as always, being totally up front, uh, this did have a little taste of uh, machine oil going on, which was a bit disappointing. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, just. I'm hard. I, do you know? As I said, I did this with uh, a live unboxing once again with my patrons. It's hard to get uh, upset and angry about this, or or get pissed off about it, even though it is green, uh, because this costs very very little. Uh, it comes with an RBA, and it's. If you want to try and get, try a borrow mod, if you want to get into the borrow world and see what it's all about, then you, you, it's, it's hard to pick fault in with this. Um, yeah, size-wise, um, I mean there it is next to a stubby. Um, I do actually have, I don't know where it's gone, um, uh, yeah, I was going to say I could, um, show you next to the, the big brother, but I'm not sure where it is right now, um, Tono makes, oh, machine oil, I wash everything first, I don't have that luxury, uh, because I do unboxings, um, and when I do an unboxing, it's me seeing the device for the first time so I, I, I don't have the luxury of washing it out um, uh, I don't think you're on the right page or even the shell well the vape shell you know what I mean the Chucky does the Chucky's just like a vape shell um, green is the new red not a bad green better than the last green there are holes in the door now yes there's holes in the door flea rider you grumpy old man, how you doing? Uh, are you excited about the U mods Unifico? I think it looks gorgeous. Um, the, it's very pretty. It's hard to say. I'd, I'd actually can I can I show this? I should actually show this since we're talking about it. Uh, I'll bring up an image. Uh, Mike Davies, uh, stop ignoring me. It gives me great pleasure to ignore you, my friend. Um, where are we? I'll show you. Let's find an image. Right. Uh, let's make this big. Let's make that big. Um, there we go. Right. Um, so, Greg. Uh, Greg from UMods, that on the left there, this is the Unific. Uh, this is a, a very, very popular, uh, sorry, am I going to say this? It's a very popular side-by-side -side stroke AIO. Um, I know lots of people that own them, including myself. So that's the one here. This is going to be the new one. It's slightly shorter. We've got a different cage system going on at the top and the firing button is on the side. That is the main difference, or these are the differences. Um, so yes, I, I'm not sure, I like the fact that it's shorter. I'm sure the firing button will be incredibly comfortable where it's going, but uh, there's part of me that I really like the, I like my Unific. And I like the firing button up there. I really like, it's just really comfortable. But I can see that the firing button will be really good there as well. Um, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that pans out. Uh, chat. 
Um, uh, Tone excellent. Um, yeah, dude, you can keep talking all you like, mate. I, I'm at the wheel. I'm just going to ignore you. <laughs> yes, I'm a dick. <laughs> um, but you're right about the Unific. If you didn't already have a Unific, would you go for it? I, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but it's 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 Greg and and Greg's a sound bloke and and yeah. Hey, there's John Frape. It's like when the Queen Mum comes to visit. It's brilliant. Hello, John. Uh, Yes, um, and um, we were talking about that. Yeah, the the pulse RBA inside is different. We've got different airflow, different things going on. Um, air from the front, air from the side there, and uh, maybe some other things. I've not really used it that much to be honest. It just arrived. I will say the RBA's got a lovely draw in it. Really has got a nice draw in it. Um, but once again, if I was starting out, I suppose you've got this, the Cthulhu, um, and a couple others that are, well, yeah, many to choose from. Many, many to choose from. Right. Uh, what have we got left? We've got the Delro, uh, the new ta uh, breeze tones. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The new tank as well. Um, <laughs> I've, had, I've had some fun with the old tank, I'll tell you. Never gave me any grief, ever. I bought a Unific and it was fine. And then I got one to review and it was fine. And then about two, three weeks after I did the review and me purposely saying in the review, Tighten it up, back it off a quarter turn, you'll be fine. I had the the nut, you know, the nut inside. Uh, it bound to the the top cap, and then all three pieces, you know, the nut and the two pieces were stuck together. And oh man, uh, it was just fun. It was just fun. Uh, right, let's do the Delro. Uh, what I'm about to show you, just to be absolutely clear is a prototype this is not the production version uh, this is not there will be changes from this to production um, just there was a group of people we were able to get a hold of a prototype uh, which we did and um, and yeah this is it um, I suppose I should really show you it next to this in a second. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you've not had a battle with your Unific tank, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> or you're just incredibly lucky. Um, right, here we go. Um, ah, bugging it. Let's do it. Dun, dun, dun. Swap. Oh, I need to clean that. Right. This is a Delro. This is a Delro. Um, I'll take the drip tip out. Uh, yeah, I guess it'll be that way. Uh, Okie dokie. So, side by side. Now, this is the Delro that's been out for quite some time now and this has a lipo inside it down the bottom it's got a lipo battery in it this is my most used mod uh, well actually I've got another one but this is the mod I use the most this is the mod I travel with blah 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 you've heard all this rubbish before but I like it a great deal because it suits the way I vape when I travel plus I can charge it from a power bank and I really like it for that so, um, Justin's now come out. He, I mean, this has been 
he's been working on this for a long time. A long time. Um, but this is the new Delro, which takes an 18650 battery. Uh, excuse the the panels. I've got the uh, black panels as well, but uh, I just liked a little bit of the clear going on there. Uh, and uh, we'll take this off. And uh, excuse me, I've got a little bit of uh, condensation going on there because I'm using the, the STM, which is very, very cloudy. And, uh, and, and, and I forget to uh, take all the vapor in sometimes. Uh, so yes, this is a, it's a Delro. It's got a Danny Extreme V3. Um, you can see there it says down the bottom, prototype. Uh, things to point out, um, you can customize the buttons. You can customize the panel. Uh, actually this bar here, you can get different, you'll be able to get different colored bars to go across here as well. Um, you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there is a C frame that runs right down here and here and through to here. I actually took this to bits completely um, when it arrived for the patrons, uh, so, but I'm not going to take it to bits again because I got it back to bit. I got it back together and it, and it kept working. So I was really happy about that. Um, now, I think the thing is here, um, as much as I love this, I think this is possibly screwed together better than this, or or when this first came out, sorry. This has been revised a few times, there's been a few differences made to it. Uh, the, the latest version is a lot better than the original uh, underneath the body. Uh, this out the door is uh, put together really well. And they both vape the exact same thing and do the same thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I don't... I, right. Um, Bill's drip tips. Yes, that's a Bill's drip tip. Thank, that was a present from uh, Mr. Lynn. He's a very nice man. How much does the Delro weigh in comparison to the Delro? Um, Martin, how are you getting? Yes, uh, my present, my my toy from Alden arrives tomorrow, Martin. Um, and it doesn't look like an armor. Does not look like an armor. That's an armor. That's a Delro. It's not often I get to say this, but Mr. Freep, you're wrong. Um, I'll just read the rest of the chat here. I wish it was all Delrin. Uh, I think from a customization route, I think the the C frame is going to be it's going to open it up a lot more. You're going to be able to cut. I, I have no interest really in customizing my mods. Um, I really don't. Um, I usually put them in leather cases to stop me spending silly money on customizing them. Um, there's, there's, I've not gelled with it the same way I did with the original Delro. And I think that's more on me than it is on the design of the mod. It's because this is has been in my hands so often over the years. Um, it's, it's, it's like an extension of my arm, if you like, uh, or hand. Whereas this is very different. It's like the panel sticks out here. The panel sticks out. Uh, the, the door, yeah, I can, you know, it, it's where this was all flush, apart from the buttons. Um, and also for my benefit, for, for me, it, it I love the Delro because I would travel with it and charge it USB-C and it charges really, really quickly, whereas this is 18650, it doesn't have a charge point, so it's kind of difficult for me to, to be unbiased or, or to like this as much as I like the old one. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, <laughs> there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's um, it's very well made and it vapes.
Flea Rider, the Delro is a posh pulse. Oh, get away with you, you grumpy old... You're just a miserable old shite bag. You really are. <laughs> and it doesn't look like a bloody gluey either. You see that? You're starting to get to me. I'm scratching the back of my neck and my, I can feel the twitch going. Uh, it's on you, Mark. You said it's better design and higher quality, but don't like it as much. That's very, very true. These are... Um, Opinions that I am giving you at this moment in time. If I was to say anything else, I'd be lying. I've kept it real. Um, how about that? I can't order anything with internal batteries. Uh, state laws, so 18650 is good for me. Jolly good. Um, Uh, I'll give the new build tab two days before it's soaked with juice and wood expands. It's absolutely covered in CA glue. It's, it's going to be dripping in it. There's no way that juice is getting into that. Touch wood. Please don't get juice into it, Mark. <laughs> it does. Um, that, that is... Um, yeah, I'm just looking up on the shelf there. That's all I've really got to... to show you. Um... Is there anything else that's on the go that's, um, I wanted to, I'll tell you what I, I'm curious about. I don't think I have it coming. Uh, oh, my internet's dropping out, I think. Ah, oh, God damn it. Um, Images, 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 tools, size, large. Um, open image and new tab. Hopefully this goes big. Um, uh, and I need, what else do I need? I need, I need another image. Why is there only one image? Uh, visit I'm over 18 unfortunately yes I am over 18 where's the that's what I'm after uh, open image new tab right here we go uh, this yeah I'm sure you've already seen it there's probably reviews out for it already uh, but the the hazard um, by a cross vape and duffpo. Um, I, I kind of like the branding on it, um, and I kind of—I mean, it's got that chamber's going to be tiny. I, I kind of like that, but I, I also like the fact that it's coming with that as well. It's coming with a tank, and I've already checked. Uh, I asked uh, them about Martin about the sizes, and that should be a perfect fit for the unific as well it's the ex you know it's the exact same si height almost as the the unific tank so i'm 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 kind of, i might just you know i might go and pick one of these up because i'm kind of curious about it to see how good it is um but other than that i don't it's, it's, unless you guys is there anything that you've seen that's coming out that um Oh yeah, the the diplomat art. Um, yeah, it was me that put the two of them together. Um, so yes, they were the diplomat was supposed. To, I don't know. I'm not. I've said this many times before, and I'm not. Kesara sara. It's always the same. Some modders you find that you're um, ask you lots of questions, ask you lots of advice, ask the, if you know any suppliers or distributors and whatnot. You spend ages talking to them, you hook them up with people, and they'll say, "We'll get that mod, we'll get that tank on you for the review," and you never hear from them again. <laughs> it's just, it's just part of the gig. It's part of the gig. Um, uh, who would win in a fight between a bottle of Grants and your new tab? 
I would lick it dry. Uh, when will the new Delro come to market? No idea. No idea, buddy. Uh, no idea. Uh, did, did I fix the truck? Actually, I didn't. I did, but it was Mr. Elliot uh, that um, came up with the resolution for my problem. He did indeed. Um, there is a new Proxima from Tech Division uh, Proxima XL. Did I see that? I think I saw it. Um, what did I see? Uh, tech. What's the 21700 one? Oh, nice. Nice. Um, I, I can't, sorry, oh, I should show you. <laughs> I'm looking at the screen going, oh, should really show you. Yeah, uh, Proxima. I, um, what's different there? Something's different. Oh, I know, it's, it's just, um, Yeah, it just it doesn't look. It's weird, that isn't it? It's um. I've got. It looked to to me. I mean, that's that's the Proxima as well. But it looks so, it looks so much better with the the stainless steel or is it aluminium? I can't remember now. I think it's Ali uh, body on it. It just looks so much nicer. Uh, but that's good. He's doing a twenty one seven hundred one. I like Milo. He's uh, your one of your original crazy geniuses, that type thing, you know. Um, chat, where did chat go? There's chat, fine chat. Um, Dead Rabbit single coiler dropping next week. No. Oh. Um, what was his name again? The boy that came up with the Dead Rabbit. Heathen. Heathen? Did he just... He just disappeared, didn't he? He just gave it up altogether. Can't remember. Uh, uh, more borrow news. There was a new mod released by Harpy, the Harbour Slim. Okay. Uh, uh, when is the next MT Essentials product coming out? Never. Never be another one. Um... I'm never, I'm never ever doing that again. Uh, he, he was a fireman, wasn't he? I could turn, ah, he was. He got a lot of grief, didn't he? He got a lot of shit for no good reason. Uh, I was, um, I, I was using it non-stop from when it arrived until two, three days ago, um, because I'm, I've got the Delro, the Pulse, um, I've got other borrow mods in for testing and whatnot, so you, you can, you can, you can't vape them all, you know, you can't vape them all, um. But it's one I'm definitely keeping. It's one I'm definitely keeping. Uh, <clears throat> uh, when's your juice line coming out? Oh, wait, that's the other one. You're such a wonderful individual, Michael. You really are. Um, and that, as they say, is that. It's eight minutes past eight. And I said I would be out here for half an hour. I can't remember what time I started this at. How long have I been going for? Well, 54 minutes. That's not bad. That's not bad for me. That's not bad at all. Uh, so I can close down Billy Billy. We've done a cross vape. We've done that. We've done that and that. And I can't think of anything else to tell you. We could talk about other people and have some drama and some excitement, but that would be boring also. Uh, so we won't bother. Um, because I'm sure you all love me a great deal. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Fakirs, that's right. Uh, Fakir, the Fakirs mod. It's the it's a MOSFET, isn't it? I, uh, I don't know if I'm, uh, I'm, I'm I don't know if I'm sold on it. I don't know if I, I like it quite as much as their older gear. Uh, and <gasps> Gareth's getting his bespoke. It, no, mate, it's not a bespoke Apex. It's just a green one. I mean, you're not special because you've got a green Apex coming, mate. Oh, shit. <laughs> I look forward to you coming back. I look forward to um, as well. We're getting some money for Apex. No, no point in offering me money for it. Sorry, Lynn. We're just about to head off. Uh, Adrian, thank you. Thank you. And thank you to you all for coming along and watching. I do appreciate it. And if you're watching this on the replay, congratulations for making it this long. Um, I will be back the next video. I might actually take. I've not had anything long enough to do a review. Um, I've not had anything long enough to do a review, so uh, it might be three or four days before I do my next review. I'm sorry. Uh, but just to clarify once again, unboxing is not a review. It's not a review. A review is something when you've tested it. Unboxing is an unboxing first impressions. Remember, there's a difference. Uh, uh, build tab. Where's the build tab made? It's it's made in Europe. It's made in Europe. But um, I'm going to go now. Thanks, guys. Have a lovely evening, morning, afternoon. And uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody in the States again. Bye for now.